I wish you'd stop following me. Well, you know, Jackie, there's a, a very simple solution to that. Hey, have you had a chance to uh, consider my little proposal? Don't you mean your ultimatum? Oh, tomato, tomato. Yes, I have thought about your proposal. Are you going to let me in on it? What? Can you know how my husband feels about you? I mean, it's going to be an uphill struggle, to say the least. Mm. You know, Jackie, I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe um, you're not going to be able to deliver on your promise. I'll do my best, but there are no guarantees. No, that's... I was just saying that the other day. That is so true. There really are no guarantees in life, are there? And none. Which is why, if I were you, you know, I, I would do my damnedest to make sure that Massimo hires me so that we can keep a lid on this nasty little secret of yours. What do you say? I'll do what I can, Deacon, but I'm not a miracle worker. Deacon Sharp, what the hell are you doing here? Darling, I came to see you and I... Found Deacon waiting to see you too. You're quite a popular guy, aren't you? <laughs> Can't fathom any business that we would have to talk about. Yeah, Massimo, I know you're a busy guy, so I'm just going to take a minute of your time if it's okay. Darling, I mean, he did come all this way to see you. You might as well hear him out. Fine. Just know that the clock is already ticking. All right, Deacon. What, uh, what brings you by? Well, I guess you could say that, um... I'm here to make you an offer you can't refuse. Now, look, you know that I've been very loyal to you in the past, above and beyond the call. You promised to be brief. I did. Um, look, I'm here to talk to you about what I bring to the table, specifically what I can bring to your table. Now, you know that I'm uh, very resourceful when it comes to uncovering well, valuable competitive information. I've had a, a huge background in management. I've run nightclubs all over the country. I've had an international recording artist. And until recently, I, I ran a subsidiary for Forrester Creations. Look how far that got you. Right to the unemployment. Okay, line. wait a second. Just so we're clear on this, I chose to quit. And I did that because Eric Forrester just, he... Well, the guy just nixed my entire line, okay? In one fell swoop. <laughs> Finally, a Forrester decision that I can agree with. Oh, come on, Moss. I don't be that way. Now, you know I'm a team player. And if you draft me for the Maroney team, I promise you, you won't be sorry. Darling, you're always saying that you could use some more intellectual capital around here. The key word is intellectual. Look, Dick and I appreciate your enthusiasm, but everyone on my management team has a college degree. Most of them have MBAs. What credentials do you have? You must know I get the most valuable degree there is. I graduated from the School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> well, that might help you get a job babysitting some rock star or maybe even a glorified bouncer, but frankly, it is of little value to my company. Darling, I mean... I don't think Eric would have hired Deacon if he didn't think he had potential. I mean, he seems to have a breadth of experience. Jacqueline, you're being too kind. Just like Bridget, you see, our friend Deacon here wormed his way into Forrester because Bridget's heart is too big for her own good. And I sure as hell am not going to let you worm your way into Maroney. So, as far as I'm concerned, this impromptu meeting is over. Hello. Oh, yeah. How is the uh, young lady at the hospital? Okay, that's fine. No, all you have to do is call Bernie. He will assess the damage on the building. Yes. No, he takes care of all the insurance. Deacon. Deacon, please, 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 wait. What? What do you want to wait for? What? Did I drop salt? That was just a knee-jerk reaction, that's all. Once he's had a chance to digest it, it'll be... Well, listen, listen, save your breath, all right? Jackie, I don't beg. And I don't keep secrets from a woman, not... Not from a woman that I once cared about. At least 
not for someone I don't even know. Hey, Clark. Deacon. Long, long time no see, pal. Where's Brooke? She'll be back any minute. What are you doing sniffing around here? I just, uh, you know, I stop by. I have a couple things to talk to her about. Like what? Like a little none ya. None ya damn business. What's with you? I'm like, no, I'm not here to step on anyone's toes, you know? Word on the street is no, you're no longer welcome at Forrester. Everybody knows that, so I gotta tell you, there's nothing for you here over at Logan. Brooke is not interested in a damn thing you have to say. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Be my guest. Deacon. Well, now, who's following who? You're going to tell Brooke, aren't you? You know, Jackie, I think the more important question is, why shouldn't I? Matter of fact, she's on her way down here right now. She deserves to know, Jackie. Deacon, you can't, you can't. Ruby, you give me one good reason why. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know what, I came to see your husband. I poured my guts out to him. I put my future on the line. What the hell did I get for it? He was a... Tad harsh, oh, but there's tad no harsh? reason to what? punish me. Listen, I got about as much loyalty to you as he has to me. Ridge could be the father of that child. Brooke deserves to know. I'm telling her. 